What is up, Core Addicts? So as most of you may know by now, Rockstar added the new Tondra Panthier Drift Fleet car yesterday. Now, whether you like the car or not, I just want to tell you guys know that just like the recently added Issy Rally, this new car is also a limited time vehicle. So yes, FOMO content has returned, and if you're not familiar with that terminology, it basically means fear of missing out. It's basically a tactic a lot of gaming companies have been using lately, like Fortnite, etc., which pressures players into buying something and fear of missing out on it forever or for a long period of time. In Rockstar's newswire for this new event week, they state that the new Tondra Panthier Drift Feed car, which we've waited about two months for since the release of the Drug Wars DLC, is actually a limited time vehicle, and we only have till the end of this event week to buy it, which is February 22nd. Upon release of the new event week next week on Thursday, the car will be removed from the website. So this will be the third vehicle Rockstar does this with. The first one was the Anis 300R, which was removed on December 28th. And then the second one was the SE Rally, which was removed on February 1st. Now the third car is the newly added Tondra Panthier which is a sports car that's almost $2.2 million. So it's not a cheap car. Now the customization on it is pretty good and the exterior styling as well, but some of the interior details are pretty terrible. It has a reused 2013 interior from the Comet. It has the front and rear trunk with terrible texture quality. And then of course the handling is pretty terrible with its loose back end and his track performance is around the pace of the OG, Coquette, and Banshee. Now I understand that not every new car should be something that's super quick, but I do feel that the price should somewhat reflect the performance of the car being over $2 million. Definitely doesn't correlate to its price tag in the case of the Panthier, especially when we compare it to some of the top tier supercars. Remember the Panthier is a sports car, and if you see the pricing comparison here, I mean, Panthier is a very expensive car. Now for those of you wondering what will happen with these limited time cars when they're gone, well, usually in these situations what Rockstar does is remove them from the website and then add them back at a later period in time when most of the drip feed content is over. So I would guess around sometime in April is when they'll most likely return, but it's not confirmed as of yet. Now with the 300R, that was a day one car and I can sort of understand why they made it a limited time vehicle, even though I still don't agree with FOMO content. But with the Issy Rally and the newly added Panthier, they're starting this trend with limited time cars, which is essentially drift feeding a car and then later on drift feeding it again, which was something that was already drip fed, which just makes zero sense to me. I strongly disagree with making drip feed cars limited time items after players waited so long for it since the launch of the DLC. And pressuring them into buying it by only giving them a week to decide is just a really scummy tactic in my opinion. Now let's say you didn't buy one of those limited time cars like the Issy Rally or 300R which are currently gone and you want to buy it now. Well obviously it's not on the website so you can't buy it from there. So if you're on next gen, the logical thing to do is to go to the LS car meet and utilize the house feature that allows you to buy friends cars. Well, Rockstar actually did think of this and they will not let you buy a limited time car from a friend. However, if you already own said limited time car, it will let you buy it off your friend. So you can buy a second or third one, whatever which really shows how much Rockstar is really trying to push this FOMO content. So the only way you're gonna be able to get a limited time car after it's gone is by utilizing a glitch, which most players don't wanna do, especially the legitimate ones. But anyways, judging by this trend, this probably won't be the last FOMO item Rockstar does, and this is probably gonna be something that they're gonna continue doing for future DLCs, which Honestly, it's pretty sad if you ask me, but uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.